discussion is the deity of Christ according to the Bible. If Jesus is God, we should see him making some divine claims. And we do see that in uh, John chapter 8, verse 58. Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. Now, he's drawing this from Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Because in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, God says to Moses, tell Pharaoh, I am has sent you. So God in the Old Testament refers to himself as I am. So when Jesus takes his divine title of I am and applies that to himself in John 8, 58, he's claiming to be the God who sent Moses. And the Jews understood what he was saying because in verse 59 of John chapter 8, they tried to stone him to death for what they considered blasphemy. Jesus does this elsewhere. He quotes from uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6, where he says, I am the first and I am the last. This is what God says in the Old Testament. Christ once again uses this divine title to refer to himself. Now, if Jesus was just a, uh, a mere prophet, he could not take divine titles of God that only apply to God and apply those to himself. We also see Jesus saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. We see in John chapter 1, verse 3, that Jesus is in fact the creator of all things. In John 1, 3, it says, all things that were made were made by Jesus. So that must exclude Jesus from creation itself. Therefore, he's not creation, he's creator. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, it says that he is, the, he is the exact imprint of the nature of God. So according to Hebrews, he shares nature with God. John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, which can be translated if you put it into a, you know, if you want to use Jesus' name rather than Word, you could say in the beginning was Jesus, Jesus was with God, and Jesus was God. I'll use my time, you can have words. Okay, so it looks like you, you brought in a lot of um, passages from the Bible, which you, which allegedly claims that Jesus is God. So the very first one that he used was uh, the John 8:58, and you're saying because it actually reflects Exodus 3:14, where it says I am as well. So if you look at the English translations in Exodus 3:14, it says Ahye Asher Ahye, which is the Hebrew translated as I am who I am. But if you look at the uh, Greek translation, not the uh, sorry, not the English translation, the Greek translation of the Old Testament. Yes, you will see that it says, I am he. Ego emi ho on. I am the one being. This is not the correct translation in English, but in Greek it is correct. So in Greek of the Old Testament and the Greek of the New Text uh, Testament, it does match because it, it says the same thing. So people who, who only rely on English translations, they will somehow say there is a correlation between Exodus 3.14 and Exodus, um, sorry, John 8.58, but that is not true, only in the original. So if you look at the Greek translation of these particular passages, you will see that it does not just say I am. In fact, if you look at the Hebrew translation of the same, by, done by the Jewish people, you say, Ahye Asher Ahye, you say he who will be. Yes. So if you look at certain translations, the correct translations are given. So do not rely on this because it doesn't make sense that the English translation actually doesn't represent the correct Greek nor the correct Hebrew in both cases. So that is an important point. Let's say for the sake of argument, Jesus is God. Yes. Let's say I give that point to Ben. The point is, does Jesus in John 73 and 2017 claim that he has a God? So the, now it is for you to point out to us, why does Jesus claim that he has a God? Okay, thank you. All times. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So what he's referring to is what we call the Greek Septuagint, which is the Old Testament yeah. in uh, the Greek language. Now, we actually have an Orthodox brother here who's, uh, who can, I'm sure can speak the Greek language. Now, I actually have the Greek on my phone. I have the Greek in, uh, in the Orthodox Bible at my, on, my, uh, on my study desk. And if you read that translation, it is in fact I am. So I don't I don't agree with your translation. I've got the book at home. I can bring it. What to does you. it say? Once it, it, what in, in John in Greek. 58. No, no, in, I am. in the Old Testament. Right, it's my time to speak. Yeah. yeah. So let me have. Just clarifying. One second. Yeah, you can have your time to speak. So in in the Orthodox Bible, which is translated by Greek speakers, it does translate it the way I refer to. Now I I want to touch on John 17:3. Hashim used John 17:3 to try to disprove that Jesus is in fact God. Um, I don't think that can be done in John because John's Gospel has the highest Christology of all the Gospels. I'm sure Hashim would agree with me. So you can't use a Gospel that starts by calling Jesus the creator of all things. You can't use that Gospel that begins with declaring that Jesus is the creator and then get into John 17 verse 3 and bear in mind he ignores verse 1, 2, 4 and 5 because in 1, 2 he identifies God as his own father. He identifies himself as, his, as God's son. Now Hashim being a Muslim 
cannot believe Jesus said those words. He cannot believe Jesus said the words after this either, where Jesus says, now, Father, give me that glory I had with you before the world began. Now, no mere prophet can share glory with the Father before the world began, considering the Old Testament says God will share his glory with no one. So I, I would like to ask Hashim, why is he using a gospel that starts by calling Jesus the creator of all things? That cannot be done. Okay. If, well, it's not my time. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So also, if you read... Um, I'll do my time. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rain. So it's raining. Do shall we stop or? Yes, yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's good for the cameras. Yeah. Do you want to John do this next week? Well, we we can do it later when it's. Are six. you leaving? That's six. All right, no problem. It's up to you. Let's, down. Are you guys okay with the cameras being wet? <laughs> because I, I wouldn't want to damage anyone's equipment for the sake of this yeah, discussion. Um, where's Let's, Let me ask JC. He might not want to. We've got an orthodox camera. So orthodox camera. I like the way you say the orthodox instead of saying your brick. Where's JC? He might not want the camera. Yeah, it's, it's raining. I think we should. I think we should stop. Maybe do it next time. Yeah, Ben. It's up to you. Yeah. yeah. No time. problem. Yeah. Some folks. Should you come earlier? Like I said, we could have done it. I did come earlier, but you were busy. I called you like two or three times. No. Uh, you said. I said I'm here when I when you asked. Me. Guys, cover your cameras. Yeah. Whoever's it is. Allah.